Welcome to my channel guys. If you are new here, I am Dr. Apurva and aspiring US Army medical student. I recently took my step 1 examination on 10th June and on 24th June I received my scorecard. I was kind of so reluctant to click on that link uh, from the mail which I got that your scorecard is ready and finally I saw that uh, uh, and this and the scorecard said my score was 261. I was extremely amazed and thrilled to receive such a good score and I thank my of course parents and my sister and my family and my friends for this. I received so many calls and messages so I finally decided to make a comprehensive video series on how my step 1 preparation was like. So this video is just an overview of my entire USMLE journey but in future videos I'll be focusing on specific topics like how to use UWorld, how to anote FA, which question banks did I use and how to solve questions and how to rule out the things and, and stuff like that. So but basically this video is going to be generalized overview uh, from the frequently asked questions which I got from calls and messages. So the first uh, question was about me uh, and my background. I am a recent graduate. Uh, I did my MBBS from GMERS Medical College, Ahmedabad, that's the Sola Civil Hospital. I am from 2013 batch, and I did I did I completed my MBBS in March 2019. So it's it's after a year of my internship I was able to take my Step One examination. I did my high school uh, that's 11th and 12th science uh, from uh, Tholokya Schools, uh, Rajkot. And I'm extremely grateful uh, to Tholokya schools as well. So that was uh, in short about me. And the next question was, uh, what inspired me for US family uh, exams? <music> Frankly speaking, I was in big dilemma till third year, fourth year uh, or internship. But finally, after uh, almost completing my internship, I was almost 100% uh, sure that I, I would only opt for USMLE. The reason being was to to search for a good healthcare training system and to bring a good and optimum healthcare to country like India. So that was the only goal for my step one preparation. The next question was when did I start preparing for it? This is kind of a very broad question but uh, I am thankful to Dr. Najib. I, I watched entire Dr. Najib videos uh, starting from my second year of medical school and by the time of uh, completion of my internship almost I had I had watched uh, entire video series of Dr. Najib and that was kind of a strong foundation to my building blocks which I built uh, from UWorld, Emboss and RX and the first state. So that was my strong concrete foundation which Dr. Najib laid down. So I'm, I'm thankful, extremely thankful to him that uh, I started uh, watching their videos uh, from my second year of medical school. So it was all started from second year. I, I was watching Kaplan, I was watching Dr. Najib from second year. I made my own notes and read from uh, those notes and gave my university exams. I read uh, I read uh, same same notes which I prepared from second year in final years. So that was kind of a good revision for me and I was also taking uh, lectures for physiotherapy students, uh, for nursing students and dental students as well, uh, right from my second year of MBBS. So uh, teaching to those students uh, also needs a basic understanding uh, to the teacher. If, if a teacher understands a concept then only you can convey, uh, convey that concept to the students. So again uh, I read my same notes and taught my students of physiotherapy and dental and uh, nursing colleges. So that was kind of a very uh, concrete foundation for me uh, and for my entire step one preparation. The next question was when did I start my dedicated? I started my uh, dedicated on uh, May 2019 and finally I was able to sit uh, for the exam on 10th June after the lockdown and the COVID thing and the ups and downs. Finally I took my exam on 10th June and the scorecard was released on 24th June. 
this was a very much frequently asked question to me that what's the best time to take step one and i would suggest to everyone okay the best time to take step one is when you are ready it's you you cannot take a particular year from your entire mbbs career that third first of mbbs is the best time to take uh, usmle or is it after internship or is it in the final year everybody has a different opinion and different experience but from my side i would suggest k uh, only take exam if you have a stretch of continuous 6 to 8 months with you so that you can prepare uninterrupted because once you are once you approach your university exams or once you take a break for 2 to 3 months again that uh, again regaining that momentum would be kind of difficult so the best time to take step one is of course number one is when you are extremely ready okay when you are 100% ready and you are 100% confident that i am going to take my exam on this and this date okay covid things are different i was supposed to take my exam on 30th march but everything was cancelled the pro metric shut down and finally i took my exam on 10th june but those are all natural uh, calamities like thing you you have no control of so if you have a stretch of 6 to 8 months with you i think uh, that would be the best time uh, if you don't take any gap any kind of gap so i think yes if you have time in third first go for it if you have time in internship go for it if you have time in post internship go for it okay and the next question which was frequently asked was what resources did i use i used a comprehensive race course right from my second year of medical school so i cannot point out to a specific resource that this was 100% helpful for me everything was a foundation and a concrete foundation concrete foundation concrete so that was kind of a broad base to my knowledge i started with dr najib's lecture i i, I in no words i can thank dr najib uh, about his basic concepts I, i i dedicate my entire medical career to him he was he was actually my usmle inspiration if i wouldn't have seen dr najib uh, on videos lectures i wouldn't have opted for usmle so i dedicate my entire uh, score my entire base uh, entire foundation to him because that was a kind of basic layout for me and and that helped me to build a great wall of knowledge with that foundation So Dr Najib I started from second year I made my notes then I watched Kaplan in second year in third year and my in, in final years uh, in final years I I have watched videos for CK uh, that means step 2 so I I'm I'm still pending with your assembly step 2 which I'll be giving in in a few months I don't know when so so Dr Najib and the Kaplan you world is the most important question bank uh, as far as I suggest because you will will leave you with no questions you will will explain every damn thing to you like why the cholera has uh, rise watery diarrhea okay it will it will state a reason to you and and yes that's the reason for rise watery diarrhea in cholera so it's kind of like everybody in the medical career should go for this uh, the you world questions uh, because that that's uh, that will kind of lay a basic foundation to your uh, medical knowledge that's extremely going to be helpful to you apart from you world i used emboss i used rx i used sketchy micro uh, and the pathoma obviously so these were my resources but uh, i'll be talking about these resources in a much in a, in a in a much comprehensive way in my future videos about how to use this resource and how did they perfectly help me to build uh, such a good score and this was a uh, most frequently asked question as well how many mcqs did i practice i practiced around 10k unique mcqs okay uh, 10k unique mcqs means 3000 from u world uh, 2000 from usm rx uh, 2500 from uh, amboss and uh, around uh, 2500 to around 2500 mcqs from nbmes so these mcqs uh, combining uh, from combined with the base of knowledge which i have gained helped me to reach that high standard and yes that that was all about my usm step one journey i am extremely thankful to everyone watching and everyone who helped me in my step one journey in future videos i'll be specifically talking about certain things how i used ipad and how i anointed my first aid 
and how how many questions did I solve and how many questions you should optimally solve so we'll be looking on those specific topics in future video till then stay tuned and take care thank you